Hey guys, this is Steel Kid Gaming here, back with another scripting tutorial. And today, um, I'm just going to be teaching you about the uh, settings in Roblox Studio. Now, of course, you can't really script much in um, in terms of this, but I hope this kind of um, using the settings in here, you can probably make yourself at least a little bit more productive, maybe even a lot. Who knows? But I'm just going to go through um, a bunch of the settings features. I'm not going to go through all of them, since well, half because I don't I don't know some of them. Um, Got to be honest here. But also I, it's just you know this is just general stuff. You can probably look into it yourself if you really want to. You know, I'm not telling you what to do or what not to do. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. Now the way you're going to get into settings is of course going to file up in the top left over here. And then going to settings. You can also press Alt S if you really want to uh, take the shortcut. And this window should uh, pop up. Now there's quite a few things in here, so I'm just going to go through, I guess, the main ones. Now, first part is game options. Now, over here, this is just kind of the chat settings. So, chat history is basically how many like comments there will be in that chat screen in game before it's kind of deleted. Because if you ever scroll, all the way up in one of the chat things, it only goes up to around 100, because that's what the chat history is set to. Then after that, you also have, you know, report abuse chat history, which is pretty self-explanatory, and then you have chat scroll length, which is basically how much lines you scroll, I believe, when you kind of, you know, go up and down the uh, chat history. Then you have the bubble chat maximum bubbles. So this is, I believe, the lines on one of the bubble chats whenever you're if you have that setting on then you also have bubble chat lifetime this is in seconds just so you know so whenever you chat in game uh, a bubble will pop up if you have that setting on of course and it'll last for 20 seconds of course you can change these these are number values so those should be pretty easy then we also have you know video quality this is i believe for recording things by pressing f12 um sorry in game you can record stuff then we have uh, LUA. There's not really too much in here. Of course, uh, default wait time. This is the um, setting for when you have wait, but you have no number inside the wait function. Then this is just the default wait. And then we have diagnostics. Now over here, there's not once again. There's not a, lo a lot of stuff. Um, you also ha you have uh, report sound warnings, which basically means if there is something wrong. Um, that goes in the output. It actually makes a sound other than it being silent. Then, of course, you have physics. Now, there's quite a bit here. But in display here, it's just saying, um, are these certain things shown? So, like, are anchors shown? Like, if a part was anchored, will it, will it, will there be, like, an icon or something that says, oh, okay, this part is anchored. That's basically what these are all for. Then, of course, these, you can kind of look into those. Then you have studio. This, this one's, uh, pretty much the... Should I say the main part? I Yeah, I guess the main part. So camera speed. This is when you're inside studios. Oh, yeah. So this is when you're inside studio. Whenever you're kind of moving around inside studio, you know, editing or whatever, these things are basically just like how fast you can move. So of course, 1.5 is default. If you set it up to maybe like 3, then when you move left and right or forward or backward or whatever, you go faster. Camera shift speed. Now, whenever you're inside a, um, now, you can see as I move in the arrow keys, you, I go 1.5 speed. Now, when, when I press shift, I'm pressing shift right now, you can see that I actually go pretty slow. And that's what that 0 0.2 is for. Then you have scroll speed, which is basically the, um, well, yeah, I'm doing the scroll. And as you can see right now, I'm traveling about 15 studs-ish. So that's what the travel things are for. Now, after that... You have directories. Now, these shouldn't be too, like, these shouldn't affect anything. Um, oh, sorry. These aren't really important. There you go. So just skip those. Then you have general. Now, some people are asking me how to turn on this dark mode right here while, where everything's really, like, black and such. This is the theme. You can just switch that, you know. Light. Then boom. This is the default. And then you can change it to dark. Boom. Like that. Then you have language, English, you know, that should be pretty simple. Then you also have basic objects display mode. This is, well, 
I actually have no idea what that is. And then always save script changes. So this is basically when you like exit something, it just kind of saves, I believe. I have no idea. I am so sorry. But yeah, I hope that helps you in some way. Then we have tools over here. So select color. This is like the color when you select something in the workspace. You know, so that. And then you got the hover over color, which is basically the color you hover over on. You know, you don't actually click it, but you just, you just kind of hover over it. That's the, those are the two colors. Of course, you can change those, you know, same settings as something in properties. Then the next thing, here is where it gets really interesting. Now, when you're scripting, it is um, default uh, courier new. So you can see this is the font where you script. But you can actually change this to maybe Cornet or Courier. courier. You have all of the scripting, you know, sorry, of all of the fonts. So you can change your scripting fonts. Maybe that will make you a little bit more productive. Then you have tab width, which is, uh, I honestly have no idea. You can probably experiment with that. Then, of course, you have the rulers, which I believe aren't any of, aren't of any importance. These, you can also check out yourself. Then, alright, this is where everything gets really juicy. Um, whenever you're scripting, you, have you ever noticed that, oh, yeah. Um, watch out for that setting because, well, yeah, that happens when you do stuff. But as you can see, you know, um, I've set it to maybe like green and red over here. And if you go into the settings, actually, you can see that you see green built-in function color. As you can see, I changed it to green. That's why print is green here. You know, um, is it the string color is this color. That's why this is kind of red. So you kind of get the idea. This is just kind of, you can just play around with the text colors. Maybe it'll help you like differentiate different types of functions or warnings or things like that, or values, stuff like that. So this might help you in some way. So then after that, you have um, output font, output layout mode. This is basically just all of here. The, these are all the settings for this output here. Maximum output lines is basically how many lines you can have in your output before it gets deleted. Then you have output fonts, you know, if you change this, the text over here, the font will change, you know, that should be pretty self-explanatory. Then you also have the select hover over color, that should be once again pretty, sorry, uh, for a primary part. So whenever you select a primary part in a group, it, the primary part um, kind of highlights, like if there was a selection box. This is basically just the uh, settings for that. Then you also got the debugger, so when you ever click on a line over here, it, a red dot will appear. That's basically the LUA debugger over here. Then you have Explorer. These should be pretty self-explanatory. And that's pretty much it for Studio. Then we have Network. I don't think anything should be pretty... Uh, anything that of importance, once again. Then you have Rendering over here. Now, I covered this in a previous video. I believe it's the lag reduction one. But let's say you want to, you know, change the quality level. By default, I believe it is set to 16 or something. <laughs> I really don't have any idea, but it's somewhere in the middle. And this is basically just saying, oh, you know, how high of how high level quality do you want your game to be? So this kind of um, this decides, you know, how far do you need to be, or how close do you need to be to see decals, you know, in like um, with the decoration setting, how um, how close you have to be to see grass, you know, all that stuff. Then, after that, you have graphics mode, which is, well, yeah, you can find out what those are. <laughs> I'm sorry. But then, of course, you have task schedule, and once again, there's nothing too um, too necessary in here. And that's pretty much it. Oh, um, you, Of course, you do have the search bar up here if you want to search for a specific thing. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, so I hope this helps you in some way. Have a really nice day scripting. Hope you are all staying safe out there, and I hope this helped you in some way. So yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye!